What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, I want to talk to you about Olympus Dow and how it's different than all of these other, you know, forks. Let's go ahead and explain it, why I'm super bullish on Olympus Dow. And well, it has something to do with airdrops, guys. I know you guys like airdrops. I'm an Omi. I love Olympus Dow. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Just want to talk to you guys about a couple things that people don't factor in the value of Olympus Dow compared to other forks. But TLDR, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to try to keep this video short. I want to show you guys a couple of examples of some airdrops that Olympus Dow launched. I'm going to start with some small ones and then some larger ones. And then explain to you guys how you can get involved with other airdrops and how you can use this as an example for other protocols. One of them that dropped earlier was Guru. Guru was given to anyone who held staked ohm. So if you guys are staking your ohm, go check on Polygon. You probably have some Guru tokens um, and you can do whatever you want. You can 3-3 them, swap them, whatever. It's nothing crazy. It's not a big airdrop. Just wanted to talk to you guys about that one. Another airdrop that was given to early ohm adopters and supporters. It was iodine. It's basically just like a ample force type of token it's a rebasing coin but tldr is guys get involved with this junk um is this was just another airdrop i'm not saying you can hold the token you could have dumped it it's up to you what you want to do the point is it's free tokens however keep in mind guys just because it's a free token make sure you guys make sure it's actually legit and look into it and figure it out the best thing to do is just have a wallet that is specifically for airdrops so you can play around with it or dumping the coins because if you approve a malicious coin, etc., it could wipe the wallet. So keep that in mind, guys. Just because you see random tokens in your wallet, don't just go out and sell them. I'm just trying to explain to you guys what you can find with supporting different protocols and getting some of these airdrops. Because there are some legit airdrops. Make sure you guys get into the communities again so you can figure out and validate that the actual coin is somewhat legit look into the team get into their discord and make sure before you do any approval swaps etc that it is actually legit some other ones that i noticed in discord that really aren't worth mentioning but this one i do want to mention i saw a lot of quotes for this one in discord so lobis finance is just a similar ohm fork same junk different day however they are doing something a little bit different they are doing it mainly with governance tokens so they're trying to hold the market share on governance but anyways um i want to explain to you guys the airdrop on lobus was massive there were some people in olympus dow there were literally quotes in discord saying yeah i just got airdropped a kia or hey i just got airdropped a toyota camry Basically, they got airdropped the dollar value in those vehicles. It's crazy. Welcome to DeFi. Welcome to crypto. Now you're asking yourself, wait, I'm an Omi. Did I get that airdrop? Well, this is one of those things you need to understand. This is why you guys need to get involved in the discords. You guys need to get into Telegram. You need to research this stuff and look into it. I literally stumbled upon this because I was researching about Lovis and I was like, wow, that was interesting. And I was like, wait. People got airdropped this? Wait, how did they get airdropped this? Hmm, what's going on? Anyways, I did some more research and I found out that they had this article. This was actually in the voting proposal. It's on Snapshot. If you go under the Olympus Snapshot, let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. You can actually see where it actually talks about this. So if you scroll down into the proposals, it's actually in proposal 44 and it talks about hints at a airdrop. As you can see right here, Lovis to airdrop, Lovi to Omis via Merkle tree. Now this article came out after the airdrop, just kind of explaining the qualifying criteria, but at one point in time, this token was worth $7,000, okay? Keep that number in mind. Let's go ahead and go over to the qualifications so you guys can see what's up. So as you can see, the Ohm Improvement Proposal 15, um, it didn't matter just as long as you voted, same thing voted here, here, and must have seen over level one prior to da 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 See further details for boost by any level. So if you were a Discord user, you would have gotten this. Uh, server boosters translate 
translators and art enjoyers, etc. So this shows like the different tiers, as you can see, level one, you would have got one low V, level two, two low V and so on. This is based on Discord. And then also you have like different boosts on the table and then you have the governance airdrop. So if you just voted, you would have gotten 0.25 low B just literally for being a boost or um, basically someone who boosted the server. And there are other things as well, like voting in OIP 44 and got 0.1 low B. But anyways, I'm going over all this stuff to show you guys, basically TLDR on it is get involved, get in the discord, take a look into this junk and figure out what's up with it. Now, if you guys are staking your own, this would help with the qualification. This is why you guys need to get involved. I want to use this as a example of what can happen even with governance tokens. A lot of people find that governance tokens are useless. Let's dump them. However, there are going to be that 0.000001% that settle from the dust and are actually useful. An example is curve with the bribes, but get into a website like snapshot, look into the governance proposals. You can literally research any of these. Look for big protocols like stake DAO or Olympus DAO or curve or one inch or Uniswap. Look into the proposals, see what they're voting. And the best part about it is you can vote and the fees are, well, none because it's gasless. You're just signing a transaction and you can look into these and see what's happening with it. When you guys do this, you can get potential airdrops. The reason why I'm picking on Olympus DAO, well, not picking on it in a bad way, but using it as an example is because it's a really big protocol. It's the biggest of the Olympus DAO forks. And you have all these other DAOs coming up that are bowing down to it, basically. And they're going to airdrop Olympus DAO to get the blessing. This is the uncalculated value of Olympus DAO. This is why, in my opinion, Olympus DAO is very valuable. Again, I told you I'd keep this video short. This is just a quick TLDR. Get into Discord. Get into these proposals. I'll leave a link in the description below to snapshot.org so you guys can see this. And using Lobis as well as Guru as an example for some airdrops with Ohm. There are some others I'm not really going to mention because it will just make the video longer. But get into the discords. Research this junk. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you guys want to jump in the Patreon slash the DigiSquad Discord, there is a link in the description below. Basically what it is is premium content and content that is not on YouTube and typically trolling in there all the time. <laughs> not trolling in a bad way. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 14 verses 30, I think we're... Yeah, verses 30. A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. Be at peace. You guys can also catch me on tweeters. Uh, it's at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.